So here is the 2021 Kona Process XDL. Uh, just picked it up this week. This is kind of a uh, pre-ride inspection of the new bike. Um, as far as color schemes go, it is pretty amazing. Uh, you may find a little trouble customizing it with matching colors, but I'm sure there's some components out there that will help you. Uh, this one here retails for right around $6,999. Uh, does come with some high-end components. Does come with a few things that I think are a little lacking. Um, but let's get a closer look. Uh, up front, you got the new Kona Zeb Ultimate Fork. Running at 170 mil travel. Uh, out back, we do have the... RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate Air Shock. Uh, pretty nice one. I've run that in the past. Uh, I usually upgrade to the Megneg. Haven't with this yet. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Drivetrain wise, we're looking at SRAM GX Carbon Cranks with the X01 drivetrain with the new uh, 52 tooth on the rear on the 12 speed. Uh, you got the WTB Como Trail wheels, 30 mil inner width, uh, rocking the DT Swiss uh, 350 hubs. I will say there is one minor complaint about the new 350 hub that I'm not a fan of this on this here model. Uh, the engagement is pretty poor. Um, you're looking at an 18 tooth engagement right out of the gate for a $7,000 bike. Seems a little weak. I do have the uh, 54 tooth engagement upgrade on its way, so we'll be getting that fixed as soon as possible. Um, don't even know if I'm gonna ride it with the 18 tooth. I may just wait for the engagement that's gonna be here in a couple days. Uh, you got the Maxxis Minion DHR rear tire XL Plus casing up front. You got the Maxxis Asagai and the XO Plus casing as well. Um, never run these tires personally, kind of a WTB guy, but we're gonna give them a try, see how they go. Uh, you have the RockShock Reverb 200 mil dropper. This is a size large. Uh, WTB Volt saddle, um, very comfy. I've used it in the past. Uh, I did upgrade to the one-up components Carbon bar, got the stem and the new one-up grips. Like the way they feel. Got some nice little knurl underneath, give you a little extra traction. Uh, the new code RSC brakes. I've run the guide RSC in the past. Uh, the little engagement here, uh, I've had issues with it sticking. Uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, we do get a little bit of rain, so I don't know if that plays a contributing factor or not. Uh, but can't wait to try them out, compare them to the guides. Uh, I've heard good things. Up front, you're also running the, the DT Swiss 350 hub. Got 200 mil SRAM rotors front and rear. Uh, did put a clear wrap on it just to make sure everything stays nice and pretty. Uh, they did upgrade to carbon chain stays on this model. I do recommend putting some clear inside tire clearance is pretty good right out of the gate um, but like i said in the winter mud build up you're going to scratch things up a little bit so obviously i recommend putting some uh some protection inside there uh yeah the one thing i did have a complaint about was the stock bar stem uh, on seven thousand dollar setup would like to see a little higher end components but all in all pretty good bike I think a lot of people do want to upgrade a few of those things anyway. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, it's a beautiful bike. Can't wait to throw a leg over it and see how she does. Thanks for your time.